To the right of me is the existing addition that we're ripping down. To the left of me is green tape laying out the new proposed addition. Step one is we need the neighbors to be on the same page as us. So we're gonna clearly lay out what we're intending to build prior to going to Boston to get a permit to actually build this. I got Cal and Lasana on site working on some interior framing. So we're gonna hop up to the second floor and check out what Cal's working on. So we're on the second floor up here. Cal's working on the ceilings, uh, actually installing the, the strapping. This is the master suite. Master. With the client, they're looking to do crown molding, possibly molding buildups. Our windows were askew. Everything was gonna look pretty choppy if we didn't take the time to flatten and level things. Correct. So walk me through the process as far as what we've done thus far with the ceiling. The ceiling getting crowned, we wanna flatten and level as best we could. This is also joining two rooms, so ceiling heights were different off the bat. There's a discrepancy about two, two and a half inches. And, that, and that's a lot. Start with your low point, level that across. So you're finding your lowest, carrying that through the entire room. We're using a laser, getting our low point, and then blasting that across the room. And we're you know basically starting with that scabbed on two by four, and you know plus that three quarter for our, our strapping. Exactly. Uh, get all of that level and then you know you can actually see original strapping and new strapping and I assume that that's probably because the original strapping was in decent shape and you can pry it down like that, yeah. pull these nails out of the old stud put new screws in here but over here it was probably in, in pretty bad shape yeah that's the ceiling but I know the front walls it's yeah. been a bear for this project this actually was bowed out it's still it slightly bowed, is, bowed out. yeah and you had mentioned earlier that this is balloon framed up through the third floor. Yes, from second to third floor is balloon framed and we saw um, a little bit of sagging falling out vertically. You have some string lines set up here from corner to corner just so you can actually get a sense of how far that wall is out. Right here, it's not terrible. It's about maybe three eighths to a half inch, right? When we were looking at the outside, it looked like inches. Was, so yeah. we actually peeled the siding back and realized that Someone had doctored up the sheathing. Yeah. The way they repaired it was not correct. They didn't fasten off the old sheathing with the new, so everything had been kind of falling off the studs. So, so it really you know, compounded that, that look. Biggest concern was making everything in the same plane so that when we installed the new windows that they weren't racked and it had full operation. Your window frame itself being planar with these, each other, side to side, top to bottom. Correct. That way when you put the window in, the window stayed flat rather than pushing one corner. Right. The moment you do that, they're not gonna operate right. right. Exactly. In these old homes, you can't always be level and plumb. No. We oftentimes battle ourselves, especially mentally. It's not always gonna be level and plumb, and flat is really gonna be the bigger driving yeah. factor because if you can make things flat, and then you know stuff operates right. Correct. You know, that window isn't necessarily plumb, but it's flat. Yeah. And it's gonna operate correctly without getting into reframing this whole house. Those are really our best options. Yeah. Keeping the final product in mind is what we need to think about now. So we're gonna hop upstairs and check out what, uh, what Lasana is working on. I know you guys have worked on the ceiling up there as yeah. well as the dormers, but uh, things are looking good down here. All right, thank you. Cool. So we're here up on the third floor of our Jeffries Point Reno. Um, actually here we have three bedrooms and a bathroom. Um, above me you see the existing ceiling height. Uh, we actually chose, we met with a client, we chose to leave this ceiling height as is, but as we enter these two, these are actually two larger bedrooms, we actually decided to push the ceiling up. So Lasana, what determined where, you know, our ceiling height in here? Because this is great ceiling height. All the dormers were original except for this one. This one was remodeled at a point. Probably so, dam it, water damage or something like that. Yes, yeah, so that was our low point, and then we carried it across the whole ceiling. With these rooms being so large up on the third floor, you don't want them to feel like attic rooms. Oftentimes they do. Yeah. You know, I know in my own house, like my ceilings are very low on the third floor. If you look up, we have the framing here. They overlap, they land on this wall. This becomes a bearing wall. Now, I know previously it wasn't a bearing wall because they probably didn't have storage up there, or at least they didn't plan on it. And this wall actually landed on top of just floorboards, no support under it. We actually moved the wall about six inches before it was just inside the bay. So it's landing on top of a floor joist now. Yep, so now if we uh, put storage up there, Christmas you know, decorations is, yeah. or mechanical mechanicals or whatever up there. Yeah, any added weight is uh, pretty much secured and covered. With the original state of the dormer, we didn't have much R value. We uh, padded it out with two by fours, and that gives us a great R value 
Because even with a closed cell phone, we're, we're, we're just under seven. So before we had maybe seven eighths of an inch. So we're going to mm -hmm. get like an R6 on that wall. Now we have about three inches. So now we're going to get that required R21. That makes a big difference, especially that we're taking the time to reframe the walls, reframe the ceiling. Now we're really squaring up these dormers. So when we install that new window, not only does it look good, but it also performs well. It gets everything tied in and looks in, looking nice against the window. To follow along this project, it's hashtag Jeffrey's Point Renovation. This is a project that we're working on with 11 interiors. And as always, at NS Builders on Instagram as well as YouTube. Stay tuned for the next episode.